The first step, of course, involves tagging the structure file. So this structure file may simply be a biped or, again, a biped with foot roll. So I'll actually pick the foot roll character, because that's the one I'm working with on Mulcore, and I'll start with the main body parts. Before we actually tag the rig, we need to unfold the rig into its base T-pose. So the easiest way to do that, if I just minimize the tag PPG for a moment, is to use the reset transforms in combination with some manual rotation. So I can start off by taking the pelvis of the character, and if I zero it out just by saying reset rotation, we get the character sort of face down. I'll just take the character and rotate it up at a 90 degree angle. I'll then start with the legs. You can reset those. So the nice thing about resetting the transform is that more often than not you'll get the parts jumping back into a standard T-pose. So here we have the upper leg, the roll attribute, and I'm more focusing on the leg here, the knee. So I can actually grab both of these at the same time. We'll straighten those out. But again, when it comes to mocap, it's always a good idea to give the character just a slight bend to identify the IK direction. So we've got the leg roll here, and below we've actually got the feet. So I'll reset the feet, which will probably point straight down, and we'll rotate them straight back up. These other two elements, the toes and the end of the toes, are fine the way they are. If I wanted to, I could go in and reset them and rotate them back up, but they're pretty much in the same position anyways. So I've dealt with the lower body. Next I'm going to deal with the upper torso. Now the back is already bent in the first position, so I'll just reset these parts, reset the rotation so the character is more or less upright. Again, we could go and give the character a slight bend to the spine if we if we wanted to. I'll work with top spine object, maybe rotate it forward just a little bit, and then start to work with the shoulders. So here we have the shoulder dummy object, and here is the actual shoulder itself. If I rotate it out, we get a nice reset. So I'm actually not in too bad a shape right now. I've managed to actually get this character into a T-pose rather quickly. We've got another dummy object there, so we never tend to really reset the dummy objects, but I'll work on the arms. And here's where we start to see our first problem. Rather than resetting the arm to zero, 0, I'm just going to take the arms and rotate them out to the side like so. So we actually have a rotation value of 6, negative 34, and 170, and I'd be at those values anyways if I reset and then rotate it back into position. I'll take the right arm and do the same thing. So I can actually use the local rotations to do this. If I reset this way, again, I've got to do a lot of counter-rotating, well, not too much, to get it back to the same angle. Again, just try and match it as best you can. If you look at the angle, 170 degrees, versus 177. Okay, so everything's looking pretty good there. Just say negative 35 for this one. Negative 35 here, and perhaps 0 degrees on the X rotation. So we've got the objects more or less mapped out. I'll work on the elbows next. So in the forearm, let's make sure here. So we have the arm roll. So here we have the forearm. I'll reset that. And again, give the character just a slight bend to define the direction for the IK. And the same thing here as well. So if we look at the values that we're working with, negative 26 degrees. And negative 26 degrees. And the rest of the arm actually looks pretty good. Uh, I'll take the wrist and we'll reset the wrist and do the same thing here. And on the roll attribute, we could likely go in and reset the rolls for both objects as well. We've also got this left arm roll that I could probably straighten out. 
We can do the same thing on the other side, the right arm roll. This one's not too bad. So we get the character in a pretty nice T-pose position. I'll work on the neck now. Get that neck upright and the head as well. Okay, so at this stage we've actually got the character nice and proportioned. Now it's just a matter of tagging the template on this BVH file, just like we did on Malcor.